Greetings fellow programmers, this is Pavel and this is uh, another C-sharp uh, challenge. We are going to be creating a class named search count, which will include an array of 20 elements, uh, 20 numbers of integer type and a va variable named counter. It also includes constructors, properties and four functions. Linear search, binary search, bubble ascending sorting and selection descending sort. So we're going to be doing some uh, sorting and some searching and we algorithms. We will do it by creating a class named search count demo in the main function and read the data from file and create an array of objects with three elements to save the data. So at the end, rather than doing each, uh, just calling the search methods, we will actually store an element one, which will perform the linear search, uh, element two, which will do the bubble ascending sorting and then perform the binary search, and element three, which all of these elements will be uh, basically an object. Uh, element three will have selection, descending sort, and binary search. And we will keep counters for each function and print out the number of searching steps for comparison. In other words, we will see uh, what. Uh, how long it took for each of these uh, elements to find the number 26. That's the one that we will be uh, looking for or searching. Uh, the numbers provided for this exercise are uh, the in text files, the text file numbers, which I put into my debug folder. It's just a regular text file and each number is separated by a space. So that's important because it's just one line, but 20 numbers each separated by a space and we will be looking for a uh, number 26 and uh, which is right here all right so um yeah that's uh that's the task so i'm going to start actually basically step by step uh which is uh first things first search count class that's what we need so i'm going to create a class called uh, search count that, that is our class I'll make it public and um, they want us to call this one is just programs programs.cs uh, they wanted to call this um, search count demo so instead of program cs I'll just right click it and click uh, rename and I will do I'll just rename it to search count demo. It makes no really difference because it just contains the main method, but uh, search count demo. And it asks if uh, I want to kind of perpetuate this change throughout the whole uh, app, which I do. So now I have search class demo instead of just program. But back to our search count. Uh, now, there will be, uh, if you remember, there will be four functions. Uh, it will have a linear search, binary search, bubble ascending sorting, and uh, selection descending sort. Those are gonna be the methods that we are going to be using. So in our search count, I, I'll create those first, just like uh, just dummies. Uh, I will do public void binary search. And this one, since we are searching, um, we're searching for number 26 for this exercise, but I'm going to make it so we can actually change the number to anything. So it will expect a number that I'll just call searched value. That's the number that we are searching for. So that's the, except of course, I have to put it within my class. I was outside of it. So that's our binary search method. The second one. Uh, they want is uh, public void this one is bubble it was bubble ascending sort so a bubble ASC sort ascending simply means from lowest to highest and descending of course the opposite from highest to lowest now this one doesn't need any arguments because we are simply going to s uh, sort the, the the array which is uh, a, by reference in other words uh, when we change the array within this uh, function, it will change throughout the, the 
the, oh, the whole array actually is going to be changed. We don't need any argument there. So uh, that's our bubble ascending sort. Next one I'll do is void selection descending sort. And that one, just like the bubble sort, it just sorts the array. There was one more, there was binary search, oh, there was a linear search, so let me do that one first. Uh, so it's going to be a public void linear search. And again, it will expect the value that we are searching for. So we have, we have our methods, uh, obviously empty for now, and uh, we will need uh, We'll need a few properties. Uh, we'll need the array. Uh, so I'm just gonna create a property called public integer, and it's an array. I'll call it numbers. So this one will x. We will have access to to the uh, to the numbers in the array, and we'll be able to set them as well, because we are reading them from the file. So we need to uh, we will populate the array uh, from the file from the text file and um, they want the counter so public integer I'll make it a property counter the same get set so this counter will have each if you remember the elements uh, each element will have its own counter that will store the number of uh, steps that were needed to find the uh, the searching the number that we are searching for and there's one more. Uh, I'm gonna make that uh, a private, uh, just a variable called number of elements. Now, number of elements is the number of uh, elements in the array. Currently, that's 20. But again, I want to make it a little more uh, uh, expendable. Like if I decide to add or remove some numbers, change the number of elements, I don't want it to affect my program. So I still want to be able to run it. So instead of hard coding the number 20, I will simply uh, have the number of elements uh, as a variable. So uh, let's do our uh, constructor. So it's gonna be search count. And in the search count, we will send the number of elements to it because that's the, uh, we will simply uh, from our main method we will simply sell, send when we uh, instanti initialize the search count we will send the number of elements in the array to our constructor so we can now uh, we can now instantiate our number of elements inside the search count uh, to the number of elements that is being sent to us from the from the main method and in the constructor we can also instantiate a counter to zero and we can also instantiate the numbers now which will equal to the uh, new new array of the number of elements again i could have just hard coded 20 here the exercise would still work but it would not be expendable we would have to be changing a lot out of things if we decided to you know uh, change the number of numbers in the uh, in the text file so this way it's much more uh, flexible but in order for us to instantiate the uh, the array we need to know how many elements are in it so that's why we are passing it into our constructor and that's what we are passing then into our numbers as a number of elements okay so that's that and um, All right, um, that's enough for the for this video for uh, for the start. And in the next video, we will uh, start populating the the methods and doing our searches and our uh, and our sorting. So stick around and don't forget to watch the next video. Take care.